Hey everybody, welcome. We have a little bit of time before something we're planning in about an hour, so I don't have time to do a full-on uh, draft. I'm gonna, uh, at least today on stream. So we're gonna draft, probably play one game, and then uh, call it a video. It's possible we end up playing this next week or something, but this is my free-to-play backup account where I draft on the weekend, so probably what's gonna happen here is that I'll draft, play a game, finish it on the weekend, and then I will uh, post uh, details about the results of this draft in the YouTube notes if you wanna see how this worked out. Sorry, I'm cleaning my area a little bit here. I may have knocked some things over after consuming some salt earlier, maybe. Anyway, if you don't wanna consume some salt on your magic purchases, you would want to purchase from cardkingdom.com when you can. Right now, they are not taking orders because they are complying with uh, business shutdown requests from the local governments to do our best to flatten the coronavirus curve, which I believe the good news is, at least here in Washington, we're kind of successfully doing that. I don't know. It's early, but like the, the curve... The curve was doing the, you know, like this, and then it, it, like for one day, it started to level out a bit. So I think we're like maybe close to uh, doing, actually having a, the right effect here, at least locally, and flattening our curve a bit. Uh, anyway, uh, so Card Kingdom not shipping right now, but they're going to be back uh, serving your magic needs as soon as they can, as soon as it's safe and healthy for everyone to do so. So keep an eye out for that, and I'll be sure to let you know when they're ready for your business again. And uh, we're going to, in the meantime, make the best of being at home, which for me works out. Turns out my job is good for being at home. We're going to pay some gems here, though, and dive into our first pick. Thanks, Card Kingdom. Pretty strong rare to open. Astra, uh, Arasta of the Endless Web. Even if you don't get a uh, ever get a 1-2 green spider creature token with Arasta, the 3-5 reach for 4 is pretty worth taking anyway. Final Death, very strong. If this were a Junker rare, it would probably be a straightforward Final Death here. As it is, it's between Final Death and the, the rare. And it's actually close because, you know, I mean, how much... How much better is this than giant spider? I mean, not giant spider, um, mammoth spider. Like the, the, for four and a green, we could get this without the uh, tack on ability. So, but yes, I think maybe the enchantment aspect puts it over the top alpha. Like you could say this is like, these are arguable, but the enchantment nature of it, um, it's a pro and a con. I mean, uh, T.S. Lining is saying, Alpha, that, uh, that that's a drawback. But I think at the four mana slot, it's still it's still pretty good. What do you think? Oh, I can pull this one. Let's start with a pull, because I, I don't think it's necessarily as obvious as it seems. I mean, Arasta is rare, but forget the mana symbol for a second. Pretend this just said uncommon on it, or comp, you know. Yeah. Mostly you get a token, but not every time. Uh, anyway, so I'll pull it uh, just just in case that I'm I'm not thinking that uh, I think chat's going to be on the Arasta plan, but I'm curious if there's anybody who just wants Final Death. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, it like straightforwardly good is all I mean by that, right? Like Final Death is a fine choice here, but Arasta has some upside. Ido wants the death. Tim Nose is on death. I mean, like, like I said, I was pretty sure people would vote for Arasta. I was curious how many would be on death. 16-3. Yeah, I mean, gem value, for so for you, but this is a free-to-play two account where we're not going to 4x, so we don't really care about the uh, the gem value, although we could. Actually, here's what... We, here, I don't often get to model this anymore, but this is actually a good place to do it. Okay, we have... I just used my uh, draft helper which is an untapped GG feature. So if you want to get untapped GG, you two here, I'll, I'll show you what I'm seeing. Let me show you what I'm seeing. All right. Except for the chat in the picture of me, this is what I see. And um, if I turn on my draft helper, 
it shows me that not only it gives you Luis's uh, rating of this card, but it tells you how many we have. We have three of four. So what we're going to do is take ostensibly our fourth, right? This should be our fourth rare. Uh, and we're probably going to get this Herald next, but we'll get back to that. I want to show you that we have on this account 20 rare wild cards and four mythic rare wild cards. I don't care about constructed on this account. This account is my backup free-to-play account that I only use to play limited. It's just, a, it's just a way to get extra free limited. And so given that, I don't need these for constructed. So I should be using these in this, and, and I'm not gonna 4X this set. I don't draft the set enough to 4X uh, on this account. So this is actually the perfect account for doing what I don't often do on stream anymore, which is use wild cards to squeeze gems out of the system. So we're gonna leave this draft go into our decks, our collection, and look at all that new stuff. It's a Rasta, right? There we go. So here's three. We're going to craft our fourth. We've now spent one rare wild card, but by doing that, we're going to get 20 gems straight up. So since we have no use for our wild cards for constructed, and since we're not going to naturally 4x this set anyway, Crafting a card that you have like three of up to a fourth, leaving the draft to go do it and then come back and finish the draft is a way to convert your wild cards directly to gems for a, uh, an account that cares about that specifically. I don't do this anymore on my main account because A, I 4X regularly there and there's no sense trying to grind wild cards for gems when we're going to 4X naturally. And also, I care about constructed on that account. So I actually want to use my wild cards on that account for. Uh, play experiences I care about. But when those factors aren't true, you can do what I just did there. We'll grab a Herald here as a great pick to uh, follow the enchantment creature start. Uh, not loving what I'm seeing here. We could take Dream Shaper Shaman. I've never really, I keep saying this is more of a, a green red card as far as I'm concerned, but maybe we could do it here. Uh, but Furious Rise probably better. Sorry, I, this is a better payoff for that. Uh, but yeah, I like the Rise. Let's take the Rise. And then maybe even Wheel the Shaman. Here we can take the Lyre or the Timoret. Lyre's gonna go in any deck we play. Timoret's rare level power at uncommon. Hmm. Right on Alpha, hope that's useful to you. Oh yeah, let me fix the display back, thank you. Be a little better for you to see this. Could I stream Civ Five sometime? Maybe I haven't played it in forever, and I the tr my problem with Civilization games is that I like the first twenty percent of it a lot, and then I kind of loathe the last eighty percent. So I'm all about playing, uh, starting a new game of Civ, playing until I have like a decent place, and then I start over again. <laughs> yeah, let's just take Liar. Why start? On, I love Timoret, but this goes in any deck we play. And we're nowhere near black yet, so. Uh, if we're looking to go long, Wardens isn't the worst here. You know, we, but it's not really working the, with the Furious Rise. I'd rather be a little bit more aggro here. But what are we taking? This is a garbage pack. Haj wants to spec on the hero. That's fair. This was just a spec. So uh, green, white, aggro would be a way we could go with a hero pick. Yeah, and Wardens into a Rasta seems, but that's like, that's that doesn't actually sound great to me, Alpha. That sounds like, hey, cool, we have two things that do the same job. I'm going to go with Haj's suggestion here and take the hero. It's another spec pick. We could also spec on Slaughter, but I think we like our green a lot here. So let's take Hero and see what the draft continues to tell us, such as Horn Beetle. Impending Doom is great. I don't, sometimes this goes, sometimes the bots don't like this so much that it goes very late. It's even possible we wheel the Impending Doom, uh, but we're going to take Beetle here for sure. I also like this Return to Nature, but not passing Beetles. Not in Red Green Furious Rise-ish potential. 
I like a chain web a lot as well, but again, um, Chimera here is a, is a great sign and it works with the Furious Rise. And uh, so I'm gonna do that. Heck, we get another chain web anyway. We could also take Underworld Rage Hound to support the green. Nice thing about uh, Rage Hound is you escape it and it naturally triggers the Furious Rise. Um, but uh, we could also take Karyatid, which helps really explode this type of deck. Uh, it does have a four power matters thing going on with it, so it actually does want the same things that Furious Rise and Horn Beetle do. And we do, I've just passed one of these already. I really like them, but again, we do have an Arasta already. I think I'm gonna pull this one. Normally I want the spider, but I think the Karyatid might be the pick here. I'm curious what uh, chat thinks. I'm gonna call the spider chain for chain web and um, Karyatid. Make sure I'm spelling this right. Karyatid, yep. All right, what do you think? Chain or Karyatid? We might wheel one of those spiders too. We had to pick seven spider that could wheel. Although it's, I mean, this can't, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think it's realistic. That means we'd be getting a last pick spider out of the last pack. Doesn't seem realistic. Hmm. I'm going to override chat slightly and take the Karyatid. I think this is a deck where we want this. Um, powering out Spider on four is is nice, but if we get um, Furious Rise going or Beetle going, like we really, like ramping into bigger stuff seems like where we want to be. I'm going to take that. Wow, another Chimera coming up Millhouse for us on the four toughness or four power plan. So let's keep that going. War Leader fits that. Hero of the games I like a little better than anything else here. Stampede Rider is a four plus payoff for what that's worth. It's not a particularly great one, but it might be filler that's better than Final Flare. I only want like one Final Flare in a deck. I kind of want zero riders, though, if I'm honest. Um, I would play it over Hero of the Games, though, I think, in this deck with this um, synergy leaning. So I'm going to take that. And we'll be pretty happy that we seem to be in the right lane. As usual, red is pretty open. We'll take a wrap. Don't think we're running a main deck Revelers, but good to see a last pick red card, and great to see a first pick quality red card here in pack two. I would like a blessing, but we're not going to pass this rare over it. And here's a, another uh, chain web we could get back. Dreamstalker Manticore is a fine way to get four power, but I think we just want a Typhon. We don't have a lot going on at four yet, and we picked up this Karyatid that can give us a turn three Typhon. Training could turn something with three power into four power, so like train Arasta, and then that's looking pretty good. Train the hero, and it gets to four. So we're going to take training and try to use this on a three power creature. Let's get rid of this hero. I think we're f nicely locked into our red-green plan here. We could take an amulet, though, as a possible splash support. Although at that point, we could just take the omen for that purpose. Although, omening on three does not look like we what we want to do here. I think I'm just going to take another Stampede Rider. Lizard wants the ramp. I, I don't know, man. I, I, think, uh, I think we just want to take a rider. I know we might not play that. We not, might not play second rider, but uh, we'll definitely play second Typhon. Thank you. Getting our deck. Tower Scout 
has some application here. I don't want a third rider. I'm gonna take a scout because we may even be able to do something like uh, untap karyatid with the scout. That's a pretty sweet play. I'm not into amulet as escape fodder. It doesn't seem worth it to me. Clunks up the early draws too much. Uh, there's a lot of people talk about that uh, in chat, Draco. You're not alone. Um, and I could be wrong. Sometimes conventional wisdom is not on my side, or you know, sometimes my take on conventional wisdom is incorrect, but I feel like uh, Amulet as escape enabler is maybe a tiebreaker on whether you're running it, but it's not something I'm eagerly anticipating about the card. It just clunks up the, an Amulet in your early draw as your land is so, so, so clunky. Generic twos. I don't think we want any of these generic twos, but you're right that we want uh, some at some point. In this case, though, I'm going to take the Tower Scout. And in this case, we're going to take Renata, which is a great thing to be karyatiding into. Nyx Herald pick eight. I think we're doing it, folks. Um, our threes are getting awfully crowded, but I'm not passing a Nyx Herald. Spider did come back for us as well. That's great. Looks like blue and green are the open colors. We're not in blue, but we got half of the openness. Yeah, that insight was sad to see, but so it goes. Goodbye, insight. Yeah, we've passed two return in natures now, but in both cases, I stand by those calls. Here's a nice generic two to throw into our deck. Ah, ha, ha, sure. Should we take a boar? Sometimes this can uh, really hurt you, actually. Uh, but it's worth the risk, I think. Impending Doom is great for what we've got going on. We could try Splash Eutropia, but let's just stick to the plan. It's probably Wheels, actually, but I'm going to... There's not much to take here, so we'll just take it. Another Furious Rise. They do stack, so uh, if we got two of them out, it wouldn't be the worst. We might just want a Blessing, though. Uh, we don't have a ton of removal yet. Maybe this even wheels, so let's take the Blessing. Portent. We're not going to run Portent in this deck. We might run a Nexus Wardens, though, so we'll take that. I think our threes are too crowded, though. I'm going to start this in the board. Binding is playable on two. It's not really what the deck wants to be doing on two, but with um, with all these chimeras, it's not. It's fine. Yeah, infuriate. If we can get infuriate on the way back, I'd like that. Uh, this is a good forerunner pickup here as well. I like uh, picking up the forerunner in this spot. Here's another uh, four or five. We can add to the pile. I think we want that over the trickster at four. Yeah. Another war leader, but I'm going to grab another training. I think we want another training. Hey, Carried had made it back. That's great. Double Carried uh, increases the reliability of that sequence. Here's an amulet, but we, uh, again, I, I, I think it clunk, clunks up our draws too much and we're not splashing anything anyway. We'll see if a hero makes the cut. And another wrap. I don't think that's making the cut. This is best of one. Sorry, my info is not good. There's the 20 we got for our crafting efforts. Here is where we're at. And while you stare at the numbers, we got nine cuts and we're 23-9. So we need to find our worst creatures. Got to cut a lot of creatures. Let's cut at least definitely one of those. I don't think this needs wrap in flames. It's not really how we're trying to win. These riders, this scout, this hero, this hero. How's that look? Now we're at 18-8. 
Yeah, we can get rid of this final flare. 187. I could have, I didn't look. I, I Mainly I wanted to show people how to do it, uh, Alpha. And although the uh, the question is, did how many did we have? Like if we only had one or something, I wouldn't even bother doing it. I only recommend doing it when you can use like a couple of wild cards. I think we want the binding. I think the binding is is good enough here with double Typhon, uh, double double Chimera to keep. And yeah, Tower Scout we could bring back for the uh, carry to untapping. That is a real power play. But I don't know if it's good enough. I mean, we cut the rider for it. We would rather just cut the rider and keep the keep that action. We can also really, gosh, maybe we um, look at how low on red we are. Can we cut the giant and just barely splash red? Like, how good is this? Is this so good that we should support the double red or would we be better off uh, even like dropping a war leader, dropping a giant and having a 16-7, you know, Furious Rise Impending Doom splash? Yeah, that's true. We got double, we, we do have double, uh, double carried. So we kind of get some free action there. I don't think I want to cut Doom, though. Um, it's high. Well, maybe we could. It's just that we we do have the Furious Rise, and um, but it's it's cuttable. All right, what's our last cut? Doom? Is Doom win more here? Yeah, we could try 16 with double carry to it as well. Yeah, I think we can still cut a mountain for sure. I, I'm not worried about land yet. Um, but there is an argument for 16, given the double caryatid. Even do it like this. But I suppose if we're doing that, maybe we cut the wardens and we just add back in even like a war leader. Just another five with some big power. I like that better than sliding any of this stuff in the middle. You want the Doom back in? Kind of thinking our stuff is big enough already without the Doom. I think the Doom is a liability, of a two-for-one liability. And we have, uh, yeah, there's an, uh, someone saying, hey, at least get some removal in. I mean, we have Blessing, we have... Uh, we have something else we just have blessing i mean this is kind of removal <clears throat> liar hmm that's a reasonable point elgar what do you want to cut for it war leader for something removally Yeah, we're not playing awe. I hear you on us being low on removal. I want to get on this though, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna start with a start this off. Uh, we're gonna call this um, uh, in recovery because we're here because of how traumatic M19 was for me. What I want is the aspect of Manticore to throw on this boar. 
Scout or Binding for the Flare. I'll keep that in mind, Sir Elgar. Let's give this a shot as is, though. And, oh, sorry. Is 10-6 correct? Probably fine. I guess with the giant, we don't want to be too low here. Yeah, this we should get our forests okay. Although, three mountain opener incoming. That is correct. That is correct, but this is incorrect. Oh, we did, we did M19 earlier today and I actually just resigned from the event in disgust at one and two. Looked great. We go carried it into Arasta and then some combination of these. Although we can even go, let, well, let's see how it plays out. Uh, one possible way to do it is actually uh, carried it on two, Chimera on three, tap carried it for another two drop. So if we get another two drop, we might want to go Chimera two drop on three as opposed to Arasta. Oppo playing black, so a little worried for the life of our Karyatid. They could have Mogus's favor to take it out, but if they don't, we do get our combo of Tower Scout and Karyatid. So now I like Karyatid, and if it lives, Chimera. And maybe we draw a two drop, that would be sweet. But basically, if we can get a turn where we... Uh, have Karyatid and three mana up, we get to tap, Tower Scout, untap, tap, and basically have seven mana. And with the giant, we sure hope it lives. Okay, so I'm gonna go, they, they're showing deny mana. That's a little bit of a concern. I said I'd play one, but I'm not gonna finish it. I'm gonna do the Chimera. I'm just very afraid we're gonna get it countered, which is be sad because uh, it's got escape. But we gotta go for our power play, I think. Uh, Fool wants to lead with the Herald, but the Herald's awesome as well. So I kind of don't want that countered either. And we have more, we have a lot of escape. So even if they counter one escape, we'll find more. All right, instead it was a goal, which is really weird. They could have given us a chance to attack, attack with the Karyatid and run it into the goal. I'm, I'm surprised they did that, um, but I wasn't going to. I, I was gonna even say, I'm not gonna attack with the Karyatid here. It's just not worth it, given the presence of flash creatures in the format. Ah, it is a nightmare. Dang it. Good news is we got nothing but creatures, so they're not going to get anything from Chapter 2, but that cost us a huge turn four. We had Tower Scout into Tectonic Giant next turn. They've given us uh, shields down, basically, though, so let's. I'm going to offer up the Chimera first, which they may be less inclined to take without not knowing that we have a Arasta coming. And yes, uh, chapter three is gonna exile this Chimera, but again, we have four total, uh, we have four total escape creatures. I'm not really worried about this as an escape 
vector. Like we're we're, we're going to get there later, and we have we have so much. We have three other escape creatures, so this doesn't. I'm happy to have them using resources on uh, on that particular creature. And our hand looks good. So I just want their, you know, the, the fewer creatures they have on board, the better chance this stuff has of getting through. Uh, shoot, we really need a land right now, but... I guess we will get the Herald down while shields are clear. Shields are down. Meh. I guess Oppo would rather be stuck on four and have some action than be flooding at six. But it looks like they have something. They're pausing here. Don't know what they've got. We're going to find out. If it's a goal, I guess they get to eat a one, two. Uh -huh. It is kind of a goal in that way. I mean, I'm pretty, like, what else did they have? I guess they didn't have anything else to go for, but I'm kind of happy that that's the use of their omen. Uh, we're going to go with uh, just the biggest thing we can here, scout. One top, one bottom. Boring. Wow, we cannot find a fifth land, but... Still working out for us, so that works. Let's put this on the Grove Dancer, then everything ostensibly has an attack here. Now you get a one for one. Probably for the Herald. That seems like the biggest problem. But this still seems all fine for us if we can just get a little bit of our land. Of course, now I'm going to uh, self-mill because that's what the correct thing to do is. We're going to mill a land, gain a life, and then draw a non-land. Just preparing you for that. Sometimes, Gary, not so impressive. Here it goes. Ready? Ooh, instead it was genius. We get a free card draw with that, effectively. And we found the land. And it's red, so we could just go Tectonic Giant. Um... But we can also just Forerunner, and then our stuff has Trample. I'm afraid of Big Pig, like, getting him back into it, but I guess we do kind of set up... It, Pig sets up Lethal, right? So let's, uh, let's set up Lethal.
All right, so now it's not lethal, but it kind of is because Forerunner will give the boar trample. So we should still be there. Uh, they have mana for a counter. Possible they counter this, but good to know ahead of time. Let's try. They get to draw twice. They might find a uh, bounce. They could bounce the boar right here. They still had outs on the draw there. All right. I'm going to check in with Nantuko. Uh, what are you, how are we doing, Nantuko? Do you want me to play again, or are we ready to go? We're going to do, uh, those of you watching on YouTube, after I wrap up our play of this event, we're going to do a battle against viewers. We're going to do that. Miss Muffin is raiding. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, Muffinators. You caught us uh, right as we're figuring out what to do. We're, we might either, we might jump and play one more, or you might have caught us right at the right time. We're about to... I'm about to draft with Mobius, another streamer, Mobius, about um, with viewers, and then we're going to battle against viewers. But my uh, my uh, my organizer is saying, "Play again, Ryan." So let's do it. We'll play this one more time, and then we're going to draft against viewers. I scooped and discussed. I resigned from the event and discussed at one and two. That's how that went. No two drops. We got a lot of them, but Oppo's going first. We got a couple shots at finding a two. I mean, this is a two, but not that we can play. But uh, Harold on three, Giant maybe on four. Boy, I mean, we'll keep this. Got a lot of good draws from this vantage point. One more shot at a two. No twos for us. Right on, Muffin. Good times. Liar, liar. Pants will eventually be on fire, but we're going to roll out the Herald here first. Quite the build around here. Let's see what they do with it. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice another enchantment. If you do, search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to one plus the sacrificed enchantment's converted mana cost. So basically, they could sack this for a two drop enchantment. I don't know, maybe they don't have that, but uh, here. I like a training on the Herald and a uh, Carrotid. Or we could just go Giant, I guess. Yeah, forget it. Let's go. This gets Trample anyway. Let's go Giant. And then next turn, if we draw land, we get Furious Rise plus training to turn on the Furious Rise. This is one of the cards I've wanted to build around in Limited. It's just not come together yet. I think we had like one chance at it early where it might have been a fit that we could have worked in, but there was something much better and we just took that.
But if they don't drop another... Yeah, this is okay. Let's see what they get for their three, but... I mean, that's a... Oh, it's not even an enchantment. It's three drop uh, creature card. Okay, that's big. I, I read it as enchantment creature, but you can get any creature. It doesn't have to be an enchantment creature. That's pretty big for that. Um, I'm going to go with that ahead, though, and... Ah, they're showing the mana. Let's offer the training here. And see if this gets countered. No, it does not. And looking pretty good for us on attacks. I'm going to go ahead and attack both, pumping the Herald. They could have something. I didn't sense a pause, but uh, I wasn't honestly paying super close attention. But I think I like this into Furious Rise anyway, because we get to drop the boar next turn no matter what. And do we want to go to their face? Yes, because I already have the card I want to play. What is end of next turn? We could save this for, we could do this for next turn, but we're going to get next turn play there. I'm going to go to the face. Let's put some pressure on. Next turn we have, uh, we could do boar, but we also have Entrancing Wire. If they go for a single blocker here, liar, if it's uh, three ma three power or less, we get to, to stop it. Yeah, all right, so I think we just kind of get it anyway, but... Um, let's just liar and try and tap. And this will tell us if we need to stay back on D. There was a pause. Keep in mind there was a pause right there. So no guarantees this works. Let's find out, though. I'm going to go... I'm going to leave the Herald back. Although any enchantment and Utropia flies for the win... So I actually take it back. I'm going to go for the win. Uh, they very well could have the answer here, but we can't beat anything. Anything this deck it would be realistically trying to do, we can't beat. So I'm not going to play around anything, and I'm going to accept it if they have the goods and they uh, get the win here. Oh. Oh, it becomes the target. Okay, well, with that be becoming the target, we can get him to one. But we can't. So uh, we'll at least, uh, let's exile and set up for more options next turn. Ooh, see, like, that's okay. I'm gonna go with this. And we're not dead dead. If they don't have an enchantment, we survive. I'm expecting them to play an enchantment and win. That's what I wasn't playing around. Huh? Not dead yet. Foil King, not dead yet. Apparently. I expected us to be. But now Chain Web even gives us uh, blocks. Um, do we need to... No, we decline that. We're going to need all of our mana here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With seven, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and get three blockers. That's pretty good. Two of them reach. We could play the giant. No, we want the reach though, right? And and the uh, extra reach if they target it. Uh, 
not only are we not dead, we have a chain web to toss in the way and um, potentially bring back here. And on that front, how do we want to do this? We got to go like this, like this. We could take the one, but then that gives them a win off of a single enchantment again. That doesn't seem right. So we're going to do it like this. I wanted the one two to die funky so that we could potentially bring it back as a four five reach. I think they have done too much though. Now, like, can, let's see, we're gonna have eight mana. Can we spend any of it to lie or something? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think they're too wide. Um, I think they're too wide. So I'm going to, I guess I decline. We need to have, have that work. I wonder, yeah, all right. So now we have eight mana. We can get a five and a three. And that's not going to be enough. All right, I'm going to give it to, uh, give it to them. But I guess I'll play this out. Trouble is that they're just going to attack. There's no need to play it out. They're going to attack and win. GG Oppo, you got me. I like this deck, though. I think it's going to do fine. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, I'm going to say goodbye now. We're going to move on to a different kind of format, but we got a draft and a couple games in there. And then uh, I'll play this over the weekend. Check the notes if you want to see how this turned out. I try to do spoiler free uh, game notes on how the offline games went. So if you're curious how the rest of this deck plays out, check the notes and we'll see you next draft. Thanks, YouTube.